tells you to sleep. Maybe you should sleep. You don't understand. There is something inside of me that a comfortable pillow will not fix. Still, I believe you. I do. And I'm making this film so that other people will believe you too. I don't but care if people believe me oh. or not. Yes, you do. You've been discussing it for years. If you don't care what other people think, then what do you want? I just want someone to, to tell me how to make it stop. How to pull it out of my head. Hand them out. Get my man. Put a bullet through my head. Coming to you. Fear that the, the the anticipation of, of, of this feeling eats away at my life. Put your fire. I need that guy alive. You hear me? Put your goddamn gun away, rookie. Bullets through and through. Chickens. Please light. You understand? Tell me what it feels like. Does it hurt? It hurts, okay? It, it hurts. You know how to follow orders, soldier. You know how to follow orders. You almost killed one of my men in my target. Copy that. Don't worry about it, soldier. <laughs> this is how we follow orders, soldier. I've always found it strange that humans even bother to try and imagine the end of the world. Staging areas, ships to flee on, lotteries for tickets off the planet. We're all so stupid. The beginning of the end, as they say. But that's long begun by now. Truth is, when it hits, you will simply cease to do the stupid little things that you do. Just like that. I'll tell you one thing, if it's the big one, like the sunstorm of 1859, the Carrington event, as it's called, then there's no such thing as tomorrow. She lifts off the sun like a fiery wing. It whips back and snaps, she breaks loose. Cosmic inferno like a movable hell sprays millions and millions of miles as if it were nothing. A cough, a sneeze, and then it hits us. Yes, indeed gonna hit us. When it hits us, when it comes crashing through our flimsy atmosphere, the grid will collapse. The magnetic poles reverse. And you know what that means. The entire surface of the planet heaves. Its molten heart bursts. And we all drown in a lake of eternal fire. And then we go to Jesus. That's all for now, folks. I got a scar, I'm telling you. Just showed up and bang, there it was on the radar. I don't know, man, I wouldn't get too excited. I've seen it before. No, 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 this wasn't a glitch. Open's eyes almost blew out of her head. I've never seen her so sure or something. <sighs> Sarah, you okay? Can we get you something? Guys, we're here to help. Whose blood is that on your shirt? Mine. They shot me. They shot you because you ran. Bad things happen when you disobey. It's best you learn that now. Let me go. Sit still and let's talk. We lost the rookie tonight. He was a good kid. I don't know about you, but we want to end the bloodshed. And you can help us by giving us some answers. I don't know anything. Oh, come now, that's not true? How about... The planets in our solar system. I'm sure you know those. Mars, Saturn. Thank you, Agent. I have a feeling he's aware. Now, I'm curious what he knows about things from a little further away. Let me go. <laughs> Let me go. You need to calm down. Just relax. <laughs> I told you to sit still, old man. You don't listen very well to these, spider Nebby.
please have Heather prep the plath helmet? Now, please and thank you. William Cassidy, I must apologize. William Cassidy is our guest. He's part of our team. You know, you look a little bit rough. I have to admit that I, I did not expect that you would look quite so old. Might be time to update the profile picture on your website. William, I would like you and I to hit the reset button right now. I want to like you, and I want you to like me. I'm a firm believer in straightforward conversation. If you and I were to have a straightforward conversation between friends, then we will have a wonderful outcome today. It's so easy. Don't you agree? I will assume that you agree and that you're not being difficult right now. So let's start with a very easy question. What happened last night? I'm going to ask you a few questions on camera, okay? Is that on? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I'm sorry about the confusion before, but can I ask you if my name rings a bell at all? Mm, what, what is it again? Joe. Joe Sullivan? I got an email from you the other night. No. I never give out personal information online, ever. Okay. I'm here with Bill Cassidy. Let me just say that I've been following your story for years. And I'm doing a documentary. Extraterrestrial activity. Things beyond our atmosphere. And so it's obviously a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Uh, so the first question is, you were abducted by aliens 39 years ago? I never said abducted. Something came to me. Okay, good. That's what I want. I, I want to hear what happened in your own words. My own words? <laughs> I met an advanced life form from somewhere else. You met them, what does that mean? They came here to the front door just like you. You just let them in? No. I didn't have much choice. They threatened you? No. Controlled me. So, what did they look like? William Hart, please. Oh. That's it, Agent. Thank you. I'm sorry, William. Sometimes you really have to hit that reset button. Now that you are clear on what our expectations are, you should accept them. On the one hand, you could disclose the events of the last 12 hours or so. And on the other hand, which is not really a hand at all, it's more of a toolbox of devices that you really never want to have to see. Tell me everything you know, William. Who oh, are you people? It's strange, William. Very, very strange. You with your history. You've been staring at this guy for decades now. 
posting your theories online. Unbelievable idea, some might say. We've had our eye on you most of your life now. Sorry, no autographs today. Last night, there was a coronal mass ejection. You know about it. You were part of it. Historic. Bigger than the Carrington event. This is kidnapping. It knocked something out of the sky, didn't it, William? Do you want to know what I can't get my head around? There are so many people out there, just like yourself, colorful folks, just like you, who have knowledge of or have had experience with visitors. Yours was, what, 39 years ago? Wonderfully vindicating. It must be for you to have one crash in your backyard just last night. Or is that just too much coincidence for your weak little story to pair? Sorry. <laughs> I find it funny that you're getting me. It's very revealing. Over the years, it's got more drastic. Usually I just wake up in bed screaming. Sometimes I wake up in other places. Yeah, like where? In front of the computer, staring at sights I've never heard of. Sometimes outside. I've woken up walking down the highway. I've woken up floating on water. No shore in sight. I woke up two states over. Two weeks had passed. I have no idea how I got there. It had been erased from my memory. Once I, I woke up in a field 50 miles from here. I was covered in blood. There was a horse on the ground in front of me. It, it had been cut down the center. Its insides removed and laid out and displayed in the grass like an internal road map. Bill, why don't we talk about something else for a second? Like, tonight's mass ejection. Yeah, it should, should be interesting. Yeah. Solar flares that have traveled millions of miles are going to burst through our atmosphere tonight. Yeah. If nothing else, it, it should be an interesting light show. They say it's going to interfere with the whole grid. Worldwide blackout. Grounded all the flights, systems. Might get knocked out in the sky. All the transit's been shut down. I look forward to it. <laughs> Nature has a way of mixing things up. Humans really are not in control. I'd like you to hook up the path helm. Let's put a couple holes into William's head, see what we see. Do you want to know more about it? No? Well, it's too bad. It's a little less destructive if you know what to expect. Is that comfortable? Really? Please don't do that. It's just, when our subjects are more comfortable, we actually get better results. Just stop talking and finish. Yes, Doctor. Doctor? Yeah, well, I see this. 
Okay, bring it in. Copy that. There's a substance here. What is it? Definitely foreign. Sir. It's not human. Gotta tell me what you know about this truck, Bill. No. So you might feel a little sting here. It's well, not really a sting, kind of, kind of like a hot blade slowly digging around in your head. What is this thing? Oh. So now you're interested. It pulls your thoughts out of your mind. You don't really know how it actually works. We just usually get the results we're looking for. Unfortunately, there's some undesirable side effects for the subjects. You know, it took a hundred years before anybody could even figure out how to turn it on. Isn't that interesting? What happened last night, though? Is it really well? Can I have some more, please? Did I tell you that we have figured out how it pulls your mind out of your head, but we have no idea how to put it back in? I'm sold. Give me some more juice. Get rid of her. Is that the camera soldier? Bring it in. Put it on the monitor. Thank you, soldier. Okay. Hey, everybody. Joe Sullivan here. Sully underscore five four three three. I just got the most amazing email last night. While I was sleeping, I got contacted by a god, okay? Hello, Joe Sullivan. I would like you to come meet me at the address below tomorrow, Spider Nevy. Spider Nevy is the white whale of astronomy. People have been trying to find this guy for years, but he doesn't want to be found. He's off the radar, he's off the grid. Not even the government knows where he is. And he contacted me. Maybe, maybe he wants me to film him. Maybe he wants to talk about the mass ejection tonight. I mean, there's some crazy shit going down in the atmosphere and he decides to contact me. I mean, this guy's been blogging about an alien abduction experience for years and the things that he's writing about, the concepts and the ideas, they're just so... Anyway, I've packed up and I'm leaving right now. Let's go. Right over that bridge. I have zero idea if this is anywhere close to real or like a total scam. All I know is what this guy looks like and he goes by Spider Nevy. Fuck. That sounds made up. Not sure what to make of this. What the hell? Jesus, tanks. Or vehicles. <laughs> Howdy. 
Hi, sir. My name is Joe Sullivan. Hi, Joe, is that a camera? Huh? Yeah. Are you filming me right now? No, sir. I don't believe you. You're a liar. Why you got a camera sitting there pointing at me? Uh, I'm making a film uh, Oh, you're about... making a movie. I am, sir. You think there's some interesting people up here out there? Go fuck yourself today. What about tomorrow? Hi. Hi there. My name is Joe. Hey, I'm Joe Sullivan. How you doing? <sighs> Hello. My name is Joseph Sullivan. Filmmaker. Astronomer. All right, here we go. This is perfect. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Clear scum. Jesus. Oh. Hey. <laughs> snuck up on me there. Hi, I'm... I'm Joe. Uh, Joe Sullivan, you... You sent me an email last night? Uh, you're Spider Nevy? Um, listen, I... I just want to talk to you for a few minutes... on camera, if... It, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I just... I assume you want to tell your story. And I, I'm a filmmaker. I'm not... I'm not some weirdo. I, I've read everything that you've written. I've watched everything that you've posted online. And, and I believe your story. And I, I'm not here to debunk. I'm not here to make fun of you or... Uh, you know... I'm... I'm here to... Listen. That's, that's all I'm here to do. I mean, hey, if, if this isn't a good time, I can always, I can always come back, or you know, we could just, you could give me one of those beers, and we don't even have to talk on camera or anything like that. Like, I just put it down and let's talk. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to see you in pain. You and I, Bill, we share a mission. I don't have a mission. Yes, you do. Oh, but you do have a mission. That same creature that contacted you contacted us. Do you know when, Bill? 1,365 years ago. And we've been trying to return the call ever since. We can help each other. We can. We can help you find the proof that you need. I don't need anybody to find proof. I just want it to stop. I know. I know. I understand. We can help you. Where is it, Bill? 
Is it with Joe Sullivan? It's not with anybody. Okay. Come on. Come on, William. I feel like I'm being much more honest with you than you are with me right now. It's not with anybody. It is anybody. Bill, what are we going to see out here tonight? Fluctuations in the sky. Colors are ripples as it bursts through the sky's atmosphere. This energy is traveling at 1,500 miles a second and almost 500 million miles to get to us when it hits. Oh! 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 Bill? Oh. Bill, you all right? Oh, no, there's something up there. Oh. I think it... Oh, my God. Bill, look. Bill, look. Look at it, Bill. Bill. Seriously. What's happening, Bill? What's happening? They're here. I can feel them. Who's here? Bill. Who's here? They found me. They've come back. What is that? Look. Look. You see? No, you see? Please just tell me. <laughs> tell me what I'm looking at here. I need you to tell me what it is we are looking at here. What do you think you're looking at? William, I'm going to ask you one more time. Tell me what it is that you found there.
It's some sort of game you're playing to get people to believe your story. Spray paint, cardboard, camera tricks and post it online for your conspiracy buddies. Is that what this is? Or are we looking at something significant here? It's significant. If you are fucking with me, I will make sure you leave this building cut up into a thousand pieces, burnt and pissed on. That's an option any if I'm fucking with you. All units, we have significant evidence to indicate that an unidentified flying object has split apart in our atmosphere and crashed onto Cassidy's property. A small pod has landed in the forest and the main unit is in the pod. Find me this ship. We're gonna fucking die out here. Shut your mouth, soldier. Move quickly and quietly. Here's to be a substance. Similar to what we saw in the truck. Okay, sample it for the lab. We got something. The impact is obvious. Something touched down. So that's it. That's the second crash site. Find the pod. Surrounding area is burnt. There's nothing left. There's no ship, no pod, nothing. You see what we see? There's nothing here. I repeat, nothing is here. We need to move on. No, that's the, that's the right site. Doctor, there's, there's the no right fucking ship. Gone. Something must have come and gone. Open your goddamn eyes. Ah! Bill. Bill! Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh yeah.
am I going? Where am I going? Fuck it. What the hell? Oh! Shit, a light! Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Things are about to get very nasty right now. really know what they were originally designed for. All I know is that they cause immense pain. They shut off your body's coping mechanism. Your body's designed to shut off. But with the D83 shackles, it keeps the pain switch turned on. It's your last chance. Where is that ship? Turn it on. Yeah, you want to tell me where the ship is now, Bill? You had enough now? Yeah, you want more?
said. Okay, keep following. I, I want you to find something. Find some answers here. Nothing for a while. It's been about an hour. What do you think? You think it's gone? Nothing's moved out there. I don't know. What are we gonna do? I just wanna be backing up that truck and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, well, just stay put. I'll hold out till daylight. We got a gun. If we can see it, we can shoot it. It's just you, me, and the end of the world. Yeah. Let's get out of here.
We have confirmation of contact. Yes, sir. A video recording, sir. Our men are at the scene now. You have my full understanding, sir. I will be waiting your arrival. See this. What? What? Give me your camera. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Come here. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Who are you? I knew it was you. I I've been waiting. Please, I, I I've been in hell. Destroy me. I I I'm nothing. I'm nothing. Enough with the screaming already. It doesn't matter now. I've contacted Consul. They will be here in a matter of hours. They'll be in their hands now. And let me tell you, Bill, their hands are a lot rougher than mine. We're moving you down some sounds. Falco's missing. It's here. Preacher is here. No! No, hold your fire! Hold your fire, goddammit! Fucking idiots! Just stand there, Jerry. Go get it. Falco's dead. Fuck me. There's a man. He's pretty fucked up. He's covered in the same substance at the crash site. Oh my god, I don't believe it. That's that's Joe Sullivan. I repeat, the same substance from the truck and at the crash site. Is he alive? He'll survive. Bring him to me now. Copy. Did you hear that, William? We're going to have a guest. Are sure it's dead? It's not breathing. We should call someone. Will you focus on what you're doing? Is he... What is that?
Why don't we call the cops? We should just, we'll call the cops and then they can come and they can call whomever. Like they could call the army or the, the National Guard. Like this is- I, I need the needle nose pliers. Oh, shit, I don't feel good. I want to go home. Hey, I want to go home, Bill. Just let me go home. Can you focus for a goddamn second? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, so, I, I'm sorry. Clean that shit up. What? No. What are we talking about? Clean that shit up. I'm sorry, Bill. No! Bill! Bill! Hey, it's me. Joe, 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 Joe. Shit. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry about, about before. But listen, the, the camera is on. Are you crazy, Bill? No. This crazy. is so important. You're gonna get the camera, and, and you're gonna operate it. And, and I want you to see this. You ready? Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Over here, come on. Follow. Look, look at this, look. See, the lump is gone. The same thing that's inside of him is inside of me. Something bigger is controlling us both. And I've got you. thought it would end, huh? Don't worry, William. It's not the end for you. It's just the start of a long life locked up in a cage, squealing like a dog while they stuff you like a pig. I'm not afraid of you.
They're here. Internet, you win. You duped old Sully. I drove for 14 hours to an address that did not have Spider Nevy. Didn't even see the ejecta, so all in all, it adds up to an epic fail. I promised you guys a white whale, and I gave you nothing, and all I got to show for was this headache, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. I'll get back after it tomorrow.
everybody, my name is Ashley Winning Duval, and today we're going to look directly at the sun. Mass coronal ejection. Sounds odd, huh? Well, in fact, it is. A mass coronal ejection is what happens when the sun's surface has a turbulent spell and throws a pile of fiery stuff out into space and eventually hits the Earth's atmosphere. And it can interfere with everything. Or so I'm told it can from Google. The power grid, satellites, cell phones. Is this the end of the world?